Notice the words that were used. You will receive power. The word is dynamite. You will receive the dynamite you need to blow the world up. When what? When the Holy Spirit comes upon you. When were those exact words used? The exact phrase is used somewhere else in the, in the book of Luke. Think, 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 biblical scholars. Where else, where else, where else, where else? What does it make you feel like? <gasps> it's the words of Gabriel to Mary. You will give birth, you will become pregnant when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will give birth to a son. It's the same wording, same phrase. Church, you will have children when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you'll have the power to bear the witness that the Lord uses to change lives. You will have the power you need to be witness, martyr, that's the word, martyr, M-A-R-T-Y-R, martyr. Jesus is telling his friends, he's telling us, you're not going to get out of this alive. Now, some of us have made a little sneaky deal with the world. We think we can be a Christian, just not be real crazy about it, just not be a fanatic about it then the world will leave us alone. We can go about our day, we can go to church on Sunday, we can raise our children the way we want to raise our children, as long as we're not to, you know, keep your, keep your faith to yourself. That's a private thing. Nobody else wants to hear about it. And for a long time that was the, the, the contract between us and the culture of America. That was the contract. That contract has been broken. Okay, now I know we've had a lot of arguments about whether or not America is a Christian nation. We may have been founded with Judeo-Christian principles. But is there any of you who still believe we're a Christian nation? The ruling of the Supreme Court was only the cherry on top of a very large Sunday that's being put together for a long period of time. Judeo-Christian principles are no longer taught, they're no longer valued. Uh, they're no longer held in any kind of esteem, much less obeyed. Okay, that culture's over. The, 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 you, you think you can get by with being just a little Christian and the world won't mess with you? We read in horror the story of the Oregon shooting where the young man came into the small college there in Oregon and lined people up against the wall and asked them, are they a Christian? If they said yes, he shot them. Now, notice what he didn't ask. He didn't ask, are you a really committed Christian? He didn't ask, are you really a fanatic? Are you really sold out to Jesus? Come in. No, he said, if you're a Christian, the world is no longer going to allow you to slide because you think they're not paying attention to you. 